guys, my name is Rodrigo. And in the following days, I'll be doing graph problems that are very challenging interview interviews, but with a step-by-step -step approach and visualizations, you'll be able to understand completely. If you wanna get new videos, please subscribe. I also have an internal Facebook group where we have weekly lives and I can help you guys better understand algorithms. We'll look at a very famous problem of graphs called graph bipartite. The approach I'll use to explain the, the algorithm is first go through a definition, then we'll visualize an algorithm We'll take a look at the code to see how the code actually works step by step. And then we're going to take a look at the IDE and step through the code with an actual example so we can see what happens with all the different variables in the code. If you have a question, please post on the comments and I'll answer promptly. So what is a bipartite graph? I have two definitions here. One is more intuitive, less rigorous. It's basically a graph where the nodes can be color blue or white, such that every edge has one white and one blue end. So if you take a look here, the blue and white nodes alternate. An important uh, characteristics of bipartite graphs is that if they do have a cycle like here, the number of nodes in the cycle are even. In case they are not even, they are odd. Let's take a look. We have blue here. Let me pick white. White here. I'll have blue, white. Observe that whichever color I, I put here, either blue or white, I'll have an adjacent node with the same color. And that breaks the rule that says that they have to alternate between blue or white. Another more mathematical explanation is saying that is a graph whose vertices can be divided into two disjoint, meaning uh, separate and independent sets U and V, such that every edge connects a vertex in U to one in V. Observe that we can have one node in V having more connections than one, but each connection in U has only one in V. So the, the size of the sets do not have to be equal. Now let's take a look at an actual, now that you guys have visualized, understood what a bipartite graph is, let's take a look at how to solve the problem. And the solution we find here in Python will actually take advantage of the fact that we don't want two adjacent nodes with the same color. So we have two graphs here. As you can see here, this graph has an even number of nodes. It's a cycle, so we'll be able to have a bipartite graph. And here we're representing a graph as a adjacent list. So these are the nodes that are neighbors to node zero, neighbors to node one, neighbors to node two, and so forth. So the index in the array represents which node we're currently at. This, on the other hand, has an odd number of nodes. So if we try to color them, we end up having the same problem where we had previously where we can't get alternating colors. So how might we solve this problem? Most problems in graph theory usually involve some kind of graph reversal, usually bre breadth for search BFS or depth for search DFS. If you don't know those techniques, I have a video that explains them. I know there is a lot of material online, so I assume you guys know. So assuming that you guys know how breadth-first search works, we are gonna take a look at a solution in Python. What we're gonna do is visit every node. So let's pick, for example, uh, this graph here, this graph here. 
we're gonna have a hash map and we're gonna explore every single node of the graph and once we put a color in the graph and colors we represent by zero so let's say zero is white and one is black so what we do is first thing is we the first node we see we make it zero and then at each iteration what we're gonna do is switch the way you can switch between zero and one is xoring with one because zero xored with one is one one xored with one is zero so if you xor any uh, zero or one with one you get the opposite so in that way you can alternate at every iteration between one and zero in case you've already seen a node so let's say i go zero okay one note is a great app but it kind of freezes sometimes so in case we already visit so we go zero one two three in case we already visit zero and we know it's blue and three is also blue so once we see three it's connected to a node we've already visited and it's the same color we know this is not a bipartite graph so we're going to use that principle we're going to color each node if we find a node with that is adjacent to us who has the same color as us it means it's not bipartite in this this was a bad example because this will actually be bipartite but this will be like i said those will be a counter example so here let's say i'll make this blue and then using red first search i'll try to visit here again but i also see it's also blue so that will make false and this is not a bipartite graph so this is how we work we start with a hash map the hash map will tell us which nodes we visited and we'll have a mapping from nodes to colors and we also we only have two colors zero which we can say it's black or one so we start with and this for outer for loop means we're going to explore every single node of the graph we put them on a queue so we can do breadth first search breadth first search usually involves a queue that first search involves a stack we put the node the first node on a on a uh, hash map so zero we'll have color zero and then we're gonna pop it and explore the neighbors okay so in the case of zero we can go either three or one let's say we go one one is not in the hash map so this is the first time we visit it so we append to the queue because we also want to explore the neighbors of one and we make the color of one x or of zero so now the color will be one meaning one has a opposite color of its neighbor we'll do the whole process then we'll go to zero we can go to uh i mean we'll go to two we we can go to zero because we've already visited we go to two zero then we go to three it's gonna be one using XOR uh, then basically we've explored all the neighbors we didn't return false here so this means it is a bipartite graph we'll take a look at an actual example which will help us illustrate what I just mentioned so let's say I have the following graph which is uh, this one which is actually not bipartite this is the graph i put a stop here so i actually already ran so the first node will be zero the graph is this one so node zero is connected to one two three node one is connected to zero two 
node 2 is connected to 0 and 3 and node 3 is connected to 0 2 okay and color is white if we represent 0 as white so now what we're gonna do we're gonna pop it from the stack you see now the stack is empty and we're gonna explore the neighbors of node 0 so we go to nay nay is now one so this is the first neighbor of node zero since nay since one is not in the uh, hash map we're gonna append it in the hash map sorry we'll append it to the queue and now we're gonna append it to the hash map having a different color from zero an opposite color now we're going to explore another neighbor and the way breadth first search works is that we first explore all the neighbors then we go to the next layer so now we go to two and the queue has two and we're going to append it to the hash map with color one it's still one because uh because uh we want the opposite color of the original one of zero we want to alternate so once we go to the next layer of breadth first search we turn it from uh, uh, one to zero so now we go to the next one we go to three so i have zero zero one one two one three one right so we go to the next iteration now we explored all the node the neighbors from zero now we're going to explore all the neighbors from, from uh, 1. So we explore. Explore the neighbors. So now neighbor is 0. But observe that 0 is already, is already uh, in the hash map. So now it's already in the hash map. We're gonna see if the color of one and zero is equal. It's not. So we still don't have a, a, a false. We keep exploring two. Now there is the problem. We're at one, two is a neighbor of one and both two and one have the same color. So then we find that problem that two adjacent problems, two adjacent nodes have the same color. So this is not a bipartite graph. And that's what we're gonna have. We're gonna return false, not a bipartite graph. So observe how we use a hash map to record both the nodes we visited and also their colors. And to explore the hash map itself, we use breadth first search, which is a very important technique when we are uh, solving graph problems. The way we alternate between colors is using uh, uh, XOR. Another co uh, uh, common technique is doing one minus uh, zero or one, because one one minus let me write it down one minus zero. Uh, is one so we go from zero to one zero minus one is minus one then you would take the absolute value so this would be like absolute value so that's another way to alternate as most graph problems and breadth first search problems the own big no notation is v for plus z which is the number of vertices plus number of edges or n plus m if you consider the number of nodes as n and the number of vertices as, as m so that's pretty much it i think it's a pretty cool problem that explores breadford search using a hash map the the definition of bipartite so if you have any questions, any suggestions, please leave here in the comments and also please join the Facebook group. So hope to see you guys in the next video.